think it's just because we're... Um... Is your battery low again? No! I charged it this morning when I woke up. Hey, everyone. Sorry, we're a little late this morning. We had a Berkshire party yesterday, so we were out all day, basically. Yeah. Having some fun. I wasn't. I went to my son's, uh, went to my son's concert last night, his band concert at Lake Central, so... Yeah. All right. Our screen's dark, so I don't know. That's weird. I don't... Last I time it did this, we ran out of batteries, Hanson. We're not going to run out of batteries. That's what happened last time. We're not going to run out of batteries. Hi, Jessica. We might run out of batteries. Hey, Jackie. Hey, Jessica. Okay. <clears throat> we have a mediocre show for you today. <laughs> but it's going to be awesome. You're going to enjoy the heck out of it. Um, it's The holidays are upon us, right? Yes. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And it's the holiday season. Well, I think we got 12 days till Christmas. 12 like days. The 12 yeah. days of Christmas. Are we going to sing that song? On the first I will watch you Christmas, sing it. I don't know. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know the words, words to it, yeah. so. There's a partridge, I believe. Maybe on the some first, kind of tree. No, it's on the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Oh, oh. That was oh. much better. No one gave me a partridge. All right. <laughs> a partridge is a bird, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I don't good. want a partridge. Thanks. Yeah. If Chris is watching, no partridge. Thanks. Chris, get her a partridge. No. Yep. Just say you heard some. <laughs> yeah. I heard part of it and whatever. That's what you got. Uh-huh. And a pear tree. I don't think they would grow very well here in the winter. But anyway, okay. We have okay. a pear tree printed in our front yard. Did you know that? I did not know that. We do. That yeah. is cool. One of the little that trees. That is cool. Yep. And now you know, everyone. Okay. <laughs> so, we got five budgeting tips for living. Five tips for budgeting through the holidays. Yeah, making it so you're not totally broke when it comes to first quarter. Yeah. That's yeah. a good point. Yeah. That is a great point. So, moving right along, going into number five. What do we got here, Hanson? What do we got? So, look at what you did last year and budget accordingly. So, have a um, separate bank account. Craig says he does this for taxes, too, because he's Mr. You know, does everything by the book. I could not say the same thing. <laughs> um, but have a separate bank account. Set money aside. That's the best thing you can do at this time of year is to make sure that you've saved up throughout the whole year for this time. Yeah, that's a good point. And I think the separate bank account is a good technique to basically automate it so you don't think about it. So you can take your, like my bank account, I can set automatic disbursements from one account, like my checking or whatever, into a savings. I can do all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, and I'm sure you can too. Um, so look into that. But when you do it, when you when it's out of mind like that and out of sight, you're not going to spend it if it's in a separate account. Especially I recommend using a savings account you do not have like a debit card for. Yes. That helps. I think that's the best is where you can put money into it, but it's not easily, you can't get money back out of it super easy. Yep. Excellent. So that is a great tip. That was number five. Moving forward to number four. This one's, this one's cool too. Prepay some expenses. Um, you could prepay things like you could buy, you can get a credit with like Facebook for Facebook ads, other fixed costs that you have, um, lead sources, some of those you can do. And here's another thing, if they don't allow you to prepay them, sometimes you can get um, gift cards and stuff like that. So then you kind of budget it that I know I'm going to spend around 100 bucks in Facebook ads this month. You know, I'll just get a Facebook, you can get those, um, you know, gift cards or whatever. Facebook or you can has just, gift cards, really? I thought they have gift cards. No? I don't know if that's true. Fact check that. Someone, we someone, can, we can hardly that. read any of the... Uh, I think it's because I have it on uh, battery saver mode, now that I think about that. Because the screen was all the way bright. So we would have had to fix that. I'm real sorry. professional show we got here, folks. It is always I'll pre-apologize for the and lack of uh, technological stuff that Nicole has. <laughs> technologically efficient. All right. So <clears throat> prepay some stuff. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Um, I, you definitely can put credits into like your paper click or anything like that, um, so that it takes it out of your account and it's our it's just sitting there and moves some money around. So it's already prepaid by the time you are like, man, I've got like five bucks left in my bank account. Not that any of us would ever do that at this time of year. Ryan said you have your haircut looks great. Carol said good morning, oh, and thanks. then Craig Pace said thanks, they, Facebook does have gift, gift cards. Thank you, thank you, yeah. thank you, Craig. All right, so that's good. Prepay some stuff, then you're good to go. Okay, number three, don't feel obligated to buy stuff or sign on with new vendors. That is a good thing. If you've been doing this a while, you're gonna know that towards the end of the year, there's a lot of companies, the website companies, insurance companies, they're gonna do like their end of the year push to try to drive more business and stuff like that. So they're gonna be, everyone's gonna be calling you trying to get some of that Christmas money. 
Yeah, I mean, for like, holiday money, if you don't celebrate, you know, Christmas. you're like, oh, it's five hundred bucks. That's not so bad. But then over the first quarter, that's like two thousand dollars. December, January, February, March, right? So you could be using that two thousand dollars to pay your own bills or do something else. I always recommend vetting these companies because they'll call, give you that big sales push. It sounds like the best thing ever, you know, and do some self inflection. Are you actually going to follow up? Are you going to use their program? Are you going to log into the system? Are you going to do whatever they're telling you to do to make money? If not, the answer is don't buy it. I would say this too as a tip. The website ones are the worst like because they call all the time. And it's like most yes. of the time you already have a website, you know. And I love the ones where they call you and they say, your website sucks, but I can help you. And it's like, what? Like, okay, good sales pitch, buddy. We found your website, but okay, yeah. well, if you found it. Yeah. I always say, you know what? Just email me and I'll go. Because they always yes. say, do you got 15 minutes to go over it right now? I said, no. And they said, well, you know, when would be a good time? I said, never. And then uh, they're like, well, why not? And I said, well, I go, do you guys have a schedule where you have to make so many calls during this time? And they said, yeah. I go, well, I have a schedule too, so I can't talk to you right now. Click. I said, email me. I'll look <clears> at it and I'll probably reject you, but at least I'll do it nicely. I mean, there are some good things out there, right? And they can help you plug holes in your business. But if you don't know what it is, you don't know how it works, um, and you haven't done research on it ahead of time, and it's not something you're looking to fill your portfolio with, there's pause at this time of year sorry i got a phone call tom gubbins is watching what's up tom hey tom what's going on that's one of my brother's great friends he's a good dude we grew up in the same neighborhood all right so are we done with number three i think so yep we're done with it so number two this one this one's funny nobody's skip gonna that, like this one nobody's gonna like this one that fancy caramel latte grande mocha smoka frappa joka coffee all right Get yourself a K-cup. Get yourself one of those little styrofoam cups. That's what you drink for this for this time of year. You save all that. That's like five bucks a day, maybe more. You put that towards your holiday expenses, and you are golden. You are off to the races. Yeah, I mean, your $5 a day that you're spending on that coffee, or for some of you, and I know there's those of you out there that stop by Starbucks two or three times a day. We all know who you are. Um... You can spend that $5 a day in a $5 Starbucks gift card to mail it to your clients for end of the year client appreciation or pop buys right. or something else, right? Um, so that's an easy way to squeeze some extra dough out of the holidays. Squeeze some extra dough. I like it. Mm -hmm. Christmas cookies. All right. Um, that's a great tip. Yeah. And $5 times, let's say, 30, 30 days on average in a month or whatever. That's got to be at least, what, I don't know, $2 million or something? Yeah. I mean, that's, I, that adds up quick. That's some good real to math right there. I like it. I like it. All right. And then, are you guys ready for this? Are you guys ready for the number one tip? I hope you are. Because I that's am. Where we're I'm at. super excited about the tech that we have for this one. Just but I will say, this is one of those annoying ones where they say, like, hey, um, how do you cure a hangover? And there's always someone that's going to say, well, just don't drink. And it's like, <laughs> you know what? When you're hungover, that's the last person you want to talk to right there. You're like, no, no, give me something. I'm dying. Yeah. No. After our holiday parties. Actually, we didn't, you know, like I said, we didn't really, it wasn't. Um, Normally, our holiday party falls on the same day as all the other board of realtors' holiday parties yeah. and a bunch of lenders, so um, it's usually a lot tougher, but we had a great time. Yeah, I think so. Okay, enough suspense. Number one, work harder so you don't have to budget through the holidays. Yes. You know? So that was kind of what we came up with as number one because you, you and I and all of you viewers out there, you all know what's happening right now. Eh, I'm going to go holiday shopping. Eh, I'm going to go to that party. Maybe just gonna have lunch with a friend and you find yourself working you know 10 15 hours a week something like that instead of your normally 40 to 50 hours a week if you just kept that pace up and worked your regular hours you'd probably be just fine through the holidays yeah i think so i think so um i think a lot of people don't put in <coughs> enough i mean there's we all know that there's agents out there right now that are doing fantastic this so there's an agent out there right now that this December is their best month of their career. Yeah. Yep. So if if they can do it, so can you. And we all get to, you know we're all equal. We all get 24 hours a day to do with what we need to or whatever we we choose to do really. Yeah. And sometimes you know if you're if you're fair and you put in an honest day's work and stuff like that for whatever you consider that, um, you know you'll be fine. I think a lot of us you know sometimes get a little holiday lazy a little bit sometimes. No. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm even feeling it this year. And I have to say, I never feel that. So yeah. it's kind of different. I don't know why. I don't, but I'm kind of a workaholic, so I kind of like to work. I but, normally am too, yeah. but I'm telling you, it, it's kind of, I'm kind of not feeling it this year. 
All right. Yeah, well, that's harder. it. You heard it here, hold on, folks. Hold on. Gotta make those dollar bills, y'all. Did you see them? <laughs> hold on. We forgot to do. <laughs> hold on. Oh, there we go. That was the tech thing again. You know, that was our funny for yeah, the day. Yeah, here's our, here's our fun. We're making it rain. Uh-huh. I, like, I like how Nicole's are all singles and mine are all hundreds. Oh, God. I told, I told her not to, yeah, I told her not to, not to mix any of hers up with mine. <laughs> I'm going to mix all mine up with his is all I have to say. Ben Franklin doesn't like to hang out with George Washington. <laughs> all right. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Happy holidays and all that kind of great stuff. And we will see you next Friday. Next Friday. You can also look us up on YouTube and look at all the Nicole and Craig shows on there. But I think you have to go, you have to search my name. I have to log in and change the YouTube channel. You have to be able to change it. Okay, great show. <laughs> <laughs>